Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This uh, this video is long overdue. I didn't think that I'd have to make it because I thought COVID would be over by now. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what my COVID experience was like, so I figured I would take some time to uh, share with you guys. Now, I am filming this on the iPhone 13 with the cinematic mode, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. So I had COVID more than a year ago at this point. It was uh, September, end of September, 2020. Now I probably had the original strain of COVID. So let's rewind back to September. I was spending a lot of time with Tara and her dad. Tara and her father came down with a mild cough. And so they had suggested to me that I go get tested for COVID. All of us thought that it was a good idea to get tested. Now this is day one. And the day that Tara and her father suggested I get tested, I had also woken up that day with extreme sunlight sensitivity. So I got into my car, I was driving to Denny's to get my breakfast omelet, and the sunlight was just blinding my eyes. It was so strange. I remember I finally got to Denny's. I sit down inside, my eyes would not adjust. The littlest bit of light would malign me. Eventually my eyes did adjust and it went away. I got tested later that day. I went through the CVS drive through and uh, took my test, which that video I put on YouTube. So if you guys go back on my channel, you'll see the day that I took the, the test. It took three days to get the results back. So I didn't get the results back till day till three days later and I was negative. But day two, I had woken up also with again, sunlight sensitivity. Two days of that, very strange. By day three, my nose was running like a faucet. I mean, I remember I was going through two, three tissue boxes a day. My nose would just not stop running. It was so, it, was, it wasn't It was painful or anything. It was just annoying. So that was day three and four of, you know, really runny nose, never developed a cough, never had lung problems. That was, that was good. Day five, I broke a fever, uh, got a thermometer. 99.5, barely a fever, almost nothing. But by that time I had I'd already gotten the results back and I was negative. So here I am thinking, this isn't COVID, this is just a cold. So I decided day five to get tested again because now I've had sunlight sensitivity, runny nose, and mild fever. So I get tested again day five, CVS drive through once again, and it takes three days for those results to come in. But here's what's crazy. By day six, I wake up totally normal, healthy. Day seven, healthy. Day eight, healthy. And I get the results on day eight. And they tell me, you're positive for COVID. So once test positive, I get a phone call from Florida Department of Health tracking team. And uh, they asked me, when was my first symptom? So I, I explained to them the sunlight sensitivity on day one. And they said this, because I was able to identify a day of symptoms, day one, that would count as the first day of COVID. And then they said to me, how many days have you been healthy? Now remember, I got the results day eight, but I had already been feeling good for about two and a half days. So I told them it's been almost three days where I have felt completely healthy. And they said, great. So basically, since you're already healthy, since you've already beaten COVID, it sounds like, all you need to do is count 10 days since your first symptom appeared. So basically, two days after my positive results, they gave me clearance that I was considered, I could leave quarantine. It was like, just so casual, I guess. It was like a guessing game almost, it felt like. People ask, did I take any type of treatment? No, no, I did not take any treatment. I uh, I took nothing. I, I had taken maybe ibuprofen just to, no, I think I took some cold and flu medication to stop my uh, the phlegm and, and, and the snot, the runny nose. But besides that, I took nothing except I slept 16 hours a day, which I forced myself to do. I know when the body's sick, the best thing you could do is sleep like crazy. I drank a lot of water, drank a lot of Gatorade. 
But I'll tell you what I did do. And, and, and again, you know, please refer to the WHO or CDC for countervailing medical views. They are the trusted authorities. I was tracking COVID since January 2020. So I had already done my research and I already knew that according to studies done out of Italy, obesity and vitamin D. You could minimize your obesity and you could take vitamin D to minimize COVID complications. So I did that. I lost about five to 10 pounds last year because I wanted to keep my weight down. And I took my multivitamins every single day, including vitamin D, including the fact that I lived in Florida and I was outside a lot and I got a lot of vitamin D. And now a study came out saying that uh, uh, high levels of vitamin D are uh, inversely correlated to COVID complications. So there seems to be some type of connection there. Again, vitamin D is not a cure, but vitamin D helps your immune system. So if you have a good immune system, it reduces mortality of a lot of illnesses. It's just common sense, con science. Again, who.cdc for countervailing views. I, I just prepared my body physically. I also lived in Florida, which we didn't really stress too much about COVID. So I wasn't always, I wasn't surrounded by fear. I wasn't inundated by fear all the stress I'm sure that had a small impact um, but by the time my body had COVID I was pumped up full of vitamin D I was at a pretty healthy weight uh, I was very stress free I was I was physically mentally and spiritually prepared but the crazy part is when you have COVID and you hear all the horror stories about it you do get nervous because you're like waiting for it to get bad. And so I remember those few days just waiting for it to get bad, waiting for the breathing problems to, to kick in. The one thing I will mention is I, uh, I did lose my smell and taste for about three weeks. That was very annoying, I remember that. And the only way that I, I realized that I had lost my smell was because I was, uh, every time I'd be in my car, I had this lavender oil from Trader Joe's, which smelled delicious. And I remember one day I got in my car and I put it on and I couldn't smell it. And I was like, this is already after I knew I tested positive. And I was just like, that's weird. And then I went to McDonald's and I couldn't taste the food. And I said, this is very weird. And then I tried orange juice, nothing. So there was three weeks of that. And then one day I got in my car, put on my, my lavender body oil and I could smell it again. And that was when I realized my smell was coming back. So, that was a nuisance. But the only scary part I'd say was around week three, after I had fully recovered from COVID from that I thought, I had rapid heartbeat for about two days. Uh, bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you. And God bless Trump. So I remember I was in bed playing video games and uh, my heart would start racing to the point that it was like a panic attack. And it would last for about 30 seconds. And it would go away. Go back to playing games. It would come back. And it happened probably about five, six times a day for two days in a row. That was the only terrifying part of COVID was the uh, the racing heart. Which again, I've heard that that's a side, a side effect. Uh, but besides that, I have not been a long hauler. I've been feeling great. I feel healthy. And... Uh, you know, I've been living life extremely normally since my recovery back in uh, October 2020. And I've only gotten sick from food poisoning in Mexico since then. I mean, otherwise, I, I do what I need to do to keep my body healthy. I go to the gym five, six days a week. I don't have the normal stress that a lot of people have. No job, no girlfriend, no wife, no kids. I want kids, but you know, I don't have any of that right now. And uh, I take my vitamins every day, multivitamins. I take amino acids, fish oil. Uh, I take vitamin C every day. I take beet, 
and I take cherry tart for my gout. Um, all natural stuff. But I feel good and I'm thankful I went through that experience. I'm thankful I'm a COVID survivor, obviously. You know, a lot of people say to me, Adam, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. You know, the way I see it, I'm, I'm not lucky. I would say the people that get sick are unlucky. The people that pass from COVID are unlucky because we know the survival rate for someone in my age group is extremely high. Imagine if you go to a casino where you had a 99 point whatever chance of winning and then you win. You're not lucky, like there's a 99% chance you won. So it's like, whatever. But to the 1% that lose, they're unlucky. So I'm not lucky. What happened to me is what happens to a vast majority of people. But those that do get hit hard or do get hospitalized or do end up dying, they are unlucky and my heart breaks for them. You know, it's, it's a shitty thing to lose somebody to this to this virus. You know, I didn't lose anybody close in my family to it, thank God. Uh, I did lose a uh, family friend, someone I knew when I was growing up. He died from COVID, but besides that, nobody in my immediate family. So it didn't really impact me too much. Um, I've had some aunts and uncles who are in their 80s that are I would say out of shape, obese, somewhat. Uh, one of them had COPD, which is like a lung problem, and they were fine. They, they, they made it through COVID early on. No treatment. Crazy, right? Crazy how it works. But that was my experience. Uh, COVID is definitely a, a strange illness. It's a weird illness. I didn't get hit hard at all by it. Uh, no long-term effects. No treatment required. Just sleep and water and Gatorade. That's it. You know, do what you can to stay healthy. That's really what I recommend to people. Uh, if you want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. Talk to your doctor about that. Um, otherwise, and this is just general health advice. Go to the gym, exercise, lift weights, do cardio, take your vitamins, take your supplements. Get massages. I try to get a massage at least once a week. When I was in Thailand, it was once a day, which I need to go back there because it's so healthy for you. But to me, once a week is good enough right now because it just helps manage my stress. And, you know, since I go to the gym, it definitely, I think, releases some tension. But do that kind of stuff. Prepare your body. Not just for this, but for everything. For all, It's, it's a healthy advice for all illnesses. Anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's my COVID experience and hope you guys found this useful. If you guys have any more questions, you could drop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer you guys. But yeah, this was long overdue. I just wanted to get it out there because some of you guys were asking. So here you go, my COVID experience. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let's go Brandon and uh, be free, my shoe.